everybody! So this video is going to be an Influencer Vox Box unboxing. If you're not familiar with what Influencer is, basically um, if you are willing to share or review products, anybody can sign up. You just sign up through their website. I'll leave it down below. Um, and they'll send you stuff to share and review. So you could review it on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, things like that. They're always different boxes of all sorts of variety. And yeah, this time around I got a Vox Box full of Mary Kay cosmetics, which is so exciting. Who doesn't want a box full of cosmetics? So I thought I'd just open it with you guys. I've tried out a number of the products. I'm wearing a number of the products, so I thought I'd kind of give you my first impressions. Um, this is what the box looks like here. It just came in pink paper. It did give me some information about the product, so I can share the suggested prices of everything in case you're curious. So yeah, just gonna jump right in. The first product that caught my attention when I was opening this box is a cream eyeshadow, and I love cream eyeshadows, so I was immediately drawn to this, and when I saw the color, it made me love it even more. I recently mentioned it in my favorites. This is the Apricot Twist by Mary Kay, so it comes in packaging like that. It's a black little container. We open it up, that's what the product looks like, and it's just a really pretty goldish apricot color. I'll swatch it for you real quick, and then I'll show you it. I do have it on my eyes right now. It's so beautiful. As an eyeshadow by itself, there it is right there, awkward angle, um, or you can pat eyeshadow on top. It's kind of similar to Maybelline Color Tattoos, but a little bit thinner in consistency. That's what I've noticed so far, but I'll zoom in so you can see it. I have it on my eyelids, so... That's what the color looks like there. For this product, it says it retails for $14. So in my opinion, definitely more on the pricier end, um, like higher end makeup, but I really love it. It's long lasting. So that's the cream eyeshadow. The next thing that caught my attention, I'm just kind of going in order of what I was excited about when I first saw, is this blush and it's called Shy Blush. No, I don't think this is the actual packaging. Actually, I'm pretty certain it's not. It's just in a plastic packaging like that. And when you open it, it's not actually held in. Whoa, that's the second time I've done that. It's not actually held in. It's just kind of sitting there in this plastic there. Um, but I believe this is a full size of the blush. And it's such a gorgeous color. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm almost perfectly. It's like a goldeny pink with gold sheen to it. That's what the color looks like there. I'll quickly swatch it for you on my hand. But I am wearing it on my cheeks right now. So... There's the color there, super gorgeous, and I'll zoom in so you can see it on my cheeks, hopefully. Very glowy, so if you're not into glowy blushes, I'd stay clear of this one, but if you like that glow to your cheeks, then it's a beautiful color. Okay, and it says that that blush retails for $12. The next kind of glowy product, and I will say, I noticed a theme going on in this box. Everything is very summer-like and glowy, so. Yes, the next very glowy product is a bronzer. This is called the Mary Kay Bronzing Powder in Light Medium. Same kind of packaging, so I'm hopefully not going to make that a mistake and drop it. There it is there. It's just a full square panel. It's got like a wave pattern in it. Um, the color is light medium, and it's definitely on the lighter end, but it is very glowy. It's got a lot of sheen in it. Um, so it's not something I would use for contouring and if you were to use it on your face if you're my skin tone or a bit darker you could probably just get away with it's right here using it as a highlight because it is very glowy and not too dark so that's what it looks like I am wearing it today however not on my face I decided to use it in the crease as an eyeshadow um, and it worked out pretty well so again I'll come in and I'll show you it's in my crease there um, just kind of like a glowy crease color. So that's what I used it for today. That one retails for $18. Okay, what should I do next? Well, what I'm wearing on my lips right now is called the Nourish Shine Plus Lip Gloss by Mary Kay, obviously, and it's in the color Mango Tango. Really, really cute packaging. I'm not sure if that's full size or not. Uh, 0.15 fluid ounces. I want to say that maybe it is. It retails for $14, and the applicator is just a doe foot applicator. It looks like that. This is very full color. Um, it is not a lip gloss that goes on sheer and looks this color in the bottle. It goes on your lips. There it is there. It's very vibrant on my hand, and that's what I have on my lips. Very smooth, not sticky. I wouldn't say it's the longest wearing formula. It wears off on me quite quickly, so it's not my favorite for that reason, but... That's the lip gloss. Okay, moving on, I have a gel eyeliner. This is the Mary Kay 
well just gel eyeliner in jet black this reminds me a lot of the Maybelline eye studio gel black eyeliner it's very creamy very pigmented um, goes on super super easily you barely have to dab it it's very very black it is what I'm wearing today I've, I've only used it two times so like I said this is a first impressions not a full review on these products um, and in my first impressions I have eyeliners that last longer so I don't know if it's just because it was a super hot day or I was doing a lot or maybe I touched my eyes but it didn't hold up as well as I would have liked it did come with a little brush though I haven't used the brush just because it looks a little bit big in my opinion for doing a wing um, so I haven't tried it out yet but it is cute little travel brush so that's the eyeliner and that one retails for $18 the next product I got was a loose powder what is this called Mary Kay translucent loose powder controls all unwanted shine all day $16 so excited to get this um, I don't really agree with the saying controls on what unwanted shine all day this powder reminds me so much of the NARS translucent crystal setting powder that I love and adore just one thing that separates it so it is it looks white but it is definitely a translucent powder that's it there on my finger so it looks white on my finger but once it goes on your skin it totally goes translucent and it definitely has like those little tiny not even sparkles but like iridescence to it so it's very light reflecting and glowy just like the NARS one I would say this one's even a little bit more so so if you want to set your foundation with something that doesn't add any color doesn't add any cakiness but just glides over nicely and leaves that pretty glow I would highly recommend this that's a lot of powder there so I think that's gonna last a long time especially for it setting underneath the eyes I think it's a beautiful power powder now, like I said, this is only a first impressions, not a full review, but um, I've used it twice and I would say comparing to the NARS one, it doesn't keep shine at bay like the NARS one does. So I have had to repowder my T-zone because I put this makeup on, I don't know, four hours ago or so, and I did get quite shiny. So again, it's really hot out today. It could be that, but my first impressions, I think it leaves the skin looking beautifully after you first apply your makeup. And I think I said that one is... Yeah, that one is $16. And then, oh, I thought there was only two products left. I lie. There's another makeup product. This is a mascara. It's the gel. Nope. Nope. Must find it. Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I love black. $15 mascara that defines, defends, and delivers four times the volume. I'm sorry, Mary Kay. <laughs> I don't agree. Um, it was very black. It did separate, no clumps, not, not going to argue there. That's what the wand looks like. It's just a very plain, standard bristle wand. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the rubbery bristle type, not the brush. Um, and it didn't flake or anything. It held up well. But as far as the volume and length, it hardly did anything. So, for $15, I have other ones I would recommend more. But if you like that natural look with no clumps, you just kind of want to coat your lashes and keep them curled, then I would recommend it. But definitely not my favorite. And then the last two things they sent me were makeup brushes. Haven't tried these out yet, but like I said, I'm just showing you guys. This is a, oh, I didn't re realize that. I thought this was an eyeshadow, like a packing brush, but it says cream eye color. So it looks like a flat eyeshadow brush or even concealer brush. I'm sure you could use it for concealer feels really nice and I like the like angle on it so I will definitely try that out the last brush they sent me is a powder brush love the packaging super pretty like I said I haven't tried it out yet it feels decently soft not the softest of some of the brushes I own but it feels decently soft so I should try it I should try it with that powder that's what I should do that's what I'm gonna do next anyways that's what I got in my Mary Kay influencer box box if you guys are interested in getting boxes of random stuff too then you should sign up Link is down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.